Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to go over the top 9 best 9mm handgun, along with everything you need to know to choose the best one to meet your needs. I've been carrying and shooting 9mm pistols competitively for years, and throughout this article, I'm going to give you recommendations for carry, home defense, and even some competition and target shooting focused options. We'll talk about reliability and shootability for each. And to end things off, we'll go over some frequently asked questions and things to look out for when making your selection, so you can be absolutely certain you're picking up the best gun possible for your specific criteria. Sig Sauer P365XL Next up, we have a carry gun that's really gathered a following since its release. The Sig Sauer P365X, the P365 changed people's perceptions of what a micro-compact can be, and now the P365XL has changed the game for the subcompact world. SIG has managed to fit 12 plus 1 rounds into a magazine not much larger than what would be a 6 or 7 round mag in other guns. That coupled with the near full size grip of the P365XL, plus the excellent trigger and sights, has made this a fan favorite carry gun for many folks. Personally, I find it to be one of the best shooting compact 9mm pistols on the market, and I'm definitely not alone in that opinion. It's also utterly, completely, boringly reliable. We've experienced no issues with any defensive ammo, and it eats cheap target ammo just fine too. Overall, if you're looking for something that's a little smaller than the Glock 19, but still has plenty of rounds on tap, this is a great option. The P365XL also has a much better trigger than the Glock 19 and much, much better sights, and you can mount an optic to it as well. The only downside is the price, but for the innovation that went into this gun, it's certainly worth it. Finally. This gun does come with an optional manual safety on some variants, so if you're looking for something with a 1911-style thumb safety, this is a great option for you. Glock 43X Next, we have another Glock offering, the new Glock 43X. The Glock 43X combines elements of Glock's Gen 5 lineup with their slimline series, giving you a compact size grip not much smaller than that of the Glock 19, but with a thinner overall profile and much shorter slide. What this ends up giving you is a Glock, that has a full-fingered grip, with a short slide, and a very svelte profile. Think of it like the Glock 19's shorter, skinnier younger sibling. It has a 10 plus 1 capacity, giving you an edge over the regular 43, and some of the other 6 plus 1 capacity, subcompact 9mm out there, which we absolutely love, and it carries like a dream. This thing really disappears on your waist and feels almost like it's not even there. The slimline profile vastly improves comfort and concealability making this one of the best Glocks for deep concealment. If you've ever worried about your gun printing through your shirt, you can rest easy here. The 43X is incredibly thin and light in weight, but it still has all the same reliability and competent design that you'd expect from Glock. The new Glock Marksman barrel is nothing to sneeze at either, and is one of the most accurate pistol barrels we've tested. Sig Sauer P320 The Sig Sauer P320 got a lot of hype on its release because of the modular frame concept. SIG has a hit on their hands here, and the modular frame serialized fire control group concept has really turned heads in the gun world since its release. The SIG P320 has a serialized trigger group, basically. With most handguns, it's the frame that has the serial number and is therefore, legally speaking, the firearm. Since the fire control group is the gun as far as the authorities are concerned, the P320 can effectively be three or four guns depending on how you dress it up. And while the process to change things over is a bit fiddly, it only takes a few minutes to switch things up. Cool transforming party trick aside though, it's also just a great gun on its own merits. The trigger and sights are excellent, especially by duty gun standards, and the gun is as reliable as any Glock. A version of it has even been picked up by the United States military to replace most of our aging contingent of Beretta M9s, and thus far the Marines I know that are using them absolutely adore them especially compared to all the 20-year-old Burettas. CZ Tactical Sport 2 CZ has gotten so good at making competition guns that multiple organizations have had to make rules changes to keep CZ from blowing other guns out of the water. If that's a not ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. The Tactical Sport 2 is one of their latest offerings, and the gun I was most excited to try out this year. It is an update, as you can probably guess, to the original Tactical Sport and all of the custom parts that were floating around for the original are also available for the TAC Sport 2. This is a hefty all-steel gun designed to absolutely smoke the competition. 
The trigger is one of the crispest and cleanest I've ever felt, and is easily the best I've ever felt in a sub dollar 2000 handgun. Seriously, you have to feel it to understand, but the Tactical Sport 2 and Shadow 2 triggers are the best out of any mass production handgun, bar none. The heavy steel frame, low bore axis, and recessed slide all work together to keep muzzle flip to a bare minimum making this one of the softest shooting 9mm you'll ever come across. It's also incredibly reliable, and in almost 2,000 rounds have never had a single failure of any kind. The sights are excellent target-focused models with a flat black rear sight and red fiber optic front sight. Ergonomics are phenomenal, and the aggressive checkering on the aluminum grip panels helps you control recoil well even with wet or gloved hands overall. I love the way the CZ Tactical Sport 2 handled, and the unique hybrid curved trigger fit my finger like a glove. The only thing that I want to see in the future is a chambering that can make major power factor, such as 357 SIG or even 40 Smith & Wesson. I'm not saying it'll make the gun better, it'll just put another option on the table for those looking to shoot limited. Regardless, if you are looking for a gun to roast the competition or something better for running the club's plate rack, the CZ Tactical Sport 2 is going to deliver. Glock 19 Gen 5 the Glock 19 Gen 5 was made in response to changes in the FBI requirements for firearms. In 2016, Glock signed a contract with the FBI for this pistol. After signing the contract, they released Gen 5 to civilians. Capable of carrying 15 9mm rounds, the Glock 19 is one of the most accessible handguns to use. Its exterior frame doesn't have any safeties or decocking levers, letting the beginner focus on what's important when carrying the gun for the first time, grip, trigger pull and aim. This handgun features a trigger with a reset that's hard to miss, speeding enhancing the beginner's accuracy in terms of follow-up shots. Additionally, the Glock 19's grip is textured, providing a steady hold when it's slick with moisture. Thanks to an ambidextrous slide stop, these handguns are also great for left-handed beginners. Reloading the Glock 19 requires almost no time, thanks to its flared magwell, which gives it a better workspace. To easily find out how many rounds the gun has at any given time, Glock has added an orange follow on its magazines. It also comes with multiple replacement back straps, so the user can customize the grip size or increase the size of the beaver tail. Finally, beginners will appreciate how easy it is to procure parts and other accessories holsters, magazines, and more for this handgun. Overall, the Gen 5 is a high-quality gun. It has excellent functional accuracy, a large magazine capacity, a compact size, and high reliability. The design serves to help you shoot your target with minimal malfunctions. We recommend the Glock 19 Gen 5 to anyone who wants a handgun for self-defense. It is easy to use, compact, accurate, and customizable. CZ75 SP01 The CZ75 SP01 is a little different from their foray into the world of polymer-framed, striker-fired guns that we discussed above. This one is an all-steel tank of a gun designed specifically for home defense. It's big and heavy but that doesn't matter when it lives in a bedside safe. It just makes the recoil of the 19 rounds of 9mm in the mag virtually non-existent. It's a double action, single action gun with a crisp, clean trigger in either mode, and some pretty decent fiber optic sights as standard, though you should swap these out for trinium models as soon as possible in my opinion. If you want a soft shooting or steel frame 9mm for home defense, this is the one I'd recommend going with. It's heavy yes, but heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. Heavy soaks up recoil like a sponge soaks up water. Beretta M9 of 4. For those of you who couldn't guess, this is an update to the M9 of 3, and it's already kicking ass in the competition world and being looked at by several large municipal police departments. Like previous M9s and Beretta 92s, it's a double action, single action behemoth with a steel frame. I heard people say that gripping the M9 feels like grabbing onto an oil barrel, and while I don't find it that bad, Ergonomically, the new M9 of 4 feels a lot better than its predecessor, with a narrower, less rounded grip and more of an undercut at the rear of the gun that allows you to choke up a bit further and get better purchase on the gun. It has the typical low-bore axis that, coupled with the heavy frame and barrel, makes this gun a pushover in the recoil department. I've always found the M9 series to be incredibly soft shooting, and I know I'm not alone in that assessment. Finally, the M9 of 4 features an optics-ready slide so you can mount your red dot of choice on top and go out and compete in carry optics if you want. The M9 of 4 is a worthy addition to a lineup of pistols 
that have served the United States military for almost as long as the 1911 did, and it makes for a perfect home defense or duty carry gun. It'll also kick ass in tactical shooting sports, especially with the addition of a red dot on top. Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact Canic has made a name for themselves in recent years with a number of excellent budget-minded guns that seem to offer performance well beyond what most would expect from their low purchase price. The TP9 Elite series is a great example, and you can find variants within that series to fit every possible pistol need, but we've chosen the relatively new TP9 Elite subcompact for this list. While all of the TP9 Elite guns are worthy of consideration, and as such is our number one pick for this particular roundup, it has a very thin frame and 12 plus 1 capacity, making it a great budget-minded competitor to the Glock 43X. It's also got a similarly sized barrel and overall length, making the comparisons even stronger. It is a touch wider and heavier than the 43X, but it also has some additional features like excellent more in tactical sights that blow the stock sights on the 43X out of the water. The TP9 Elite series also has a visual and tactile loaded chamber indicator on the back of the slide. Finally, the trigger on the TP9 Elites just rock and are some of the best original equipment manufacturer triggers you'll find on striker-fired handguns in this price range. It was difficult to choose which TP9 Elite to include on this list, so we went with the one we have the most time with, the TP9 Elite Subcompact. Israel Weapon Industries Masada 9mm Lastly, we have a relatively new gun from a relatively unknown manufacturer, at least here in the United States the Israel Weapon Industries Masada. Their foray into the duty, carry gun world, is the IWI Masada, a polymer-framed, striker-fired pistol designed to meet the sidearm needs of Western militaries, particularly the Israeli Defense Forces. It uses a low-profile barrel that keeps the bore axis as low as possible, which in turn keeps the muzzle flipped down. This makes the Masada a great gun for rapid-fire shooting, particularly in a defensive situation. That said, we're starting to see these in competition contexts too, and there are many folks using them to great effect there. The slide is also optics ready, and there are already mounting plates available for the most popular pistol red dots. Shooting the Masada is actually very pleasant, and the lowered bore axis is immediately apparent, especially compared to something like an Heckler and Cock or Sig Sauer. You really don't feel the muzzle flip nearly as much, and most of the recoil is directed straight backward. For competitors and tactical shooters alike, this is a great thing as it allows you to regain your sight picture much faster from shot to shot, making rapid and accurate follow-up shots a cinch. If you're looking for something that can do double duty as a home defense or duty gun, while still being able to compete in something like carry optics, this is the gun for you. Thanks for watching the video this far. With that we have to the end of today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and also also share this video with your friends. Bye.